Okay. Whatever teams are in there. Right. Who's left back? Who's got a keeper? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> push your gloves, is it? You can have them, do you want them? That's right. It's a bit bigger than that. He's turned his hand out. Oh, you got some cash? Oh, you want it? Thank Jason yeah. Yellow. Step up and take. Present them to us, Gas lad. Should we put it on for the camera? Ross got his caught on the crossbar. Brad's mangas, 75 pounds these are. Don't sell them. How did you get caught on the crossbar? I love them. Don't say on it. Don't say on it. Don't say on it. Wear them at Wembley. You like Simpsons? Let me wash your knuckle off. Me old marigolds. Oh, jeez. Congratulations. Come on in. Right, girls. All the best, anyway. I hope you get to the final. Yeah. And I hope you're not ready. Good luck, girls. Good luck. Good luck. Enjoy. Good night. 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 Good We're joining us now. We have Michelle O'Connor, lead teacher from uh, Team High. One, two people from the CFS football team. Uh, we've got some of the girls down here today. Just explain how they, they won their prize to get here today to see the first team train. Yeah, they entered their AFC Women's Jordan Six Side Tournament in November. They won every round. Was it five rounds? Yeah, all, all games. Yeah, they won all games. Um, our goalkeeper didn't let one goal in, and we reached a final. And we won 2 0, I believe. Excellent. And Rob, I mean, how important is it for the, for the club to branch out into the community and do these sort of things today? It's massive. So, the opportunity for the girls to come down today and see the boys train and the boys to meet them, Bezo giving his gloves away, uh, it's just fantastic and it just brings the club all together. Michelle, what's the atmosphere been like amongst the group this week? How excited are they? Oh, they've been really excited. Uh, they were coming down today. They're seeing a match on Thursday against, oh, no, sorry, Saturday against Torquay. And they're playing the next round of the tournament in Canvey Island next Thursday, so they're really excited. Yeah, that's going to be a big game for you. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, but they're more excited. And if they get through um, that round of the tournament, they'll be heading towards Wembley for the actual finals. Fantastic, and as I said, it's a great opportunity for the girls and it's great publicity for the club. And hopefully, the girls can do the club proud next week at Calvi and then go on to Wembley and uh, hopefully pick up the trophy. We've got walking football coming back, um, based here again at Tootin, which is fantastic for the club. Um, still got our street league as well, um, which again, hopefully, just trying to build up some participants for that. As soon as we get that in, then hopefully can get that scheme up and running again. Michelle, there's another link with uh, Team High. We've got, of course, Jordan Knight on our books. Now, how that, how proud of everybody oh, the, with the high school for yeah, how Jordan has done? Yeah, everyone's so proud of Jordan. He's done so well. Um, and he does PE and um, A-level at our school as well. And he's been following football all the way through his school life. We also got Seb Brown, who used to come to our school. Um, he's, he belongs to ASC Wimbledon as well. So, yeah, we've done quite well. Strong links with the community. Yeah, that's right, definitely. Excellent. Good chatting to both of you. Thanks very much indeed. No problem. Thank Thanks.